Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have an estate sale haul today, um, and I'm very excited to find what I thought was going to be the end of a line, but I found some more. Um, so stay tuned, and I will be showing you those items towards the end of the haul. Uh, but if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I go um, when I put out new content and when I go live for my sales. So all of these items will be available in my upcoming sales Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern. So um, and don't forget to like this video uh, before you leave. So. Here are um, a couple of really cool gourds. This one, unfortunately, does have a little boo-boo on it, but isn't that neat? And there is a note in here that says that it's made in Hawaii, and it still has the little price tag on it, too. Um, I guess there's a couple little boo-boos on it, but, I mean, this is, this is a gourd, and those things happen. So that is cool. And there is another one. There we go. This one's a little fancier because it's uh, painted. Looks like we've got, what, the bird of paradise. And I do remember that might be, what, the hibiscus. And then... I know I've seen those flowers, but I can't remember what they're called. And then here is the lid. Oh, and this has a whole um, sheet of information. And um, this does have where it's from in Hawaii. And I am not even going to try to pronounce that. I will not do a good job. And let's see, I do need to move. So that I can get to, let's see, oh, we've got like a coconut. Let's see what this says on the inside. This says the little Hawaiian craft. And it just talks about crafting in Honolulu. But here is a little coconut bowl. And it looks like here is another one. Okay, and we've got another one. Something in that one. And that is four total. And, oh, nope, it looks like there's a fifth one. And inside of this one is this cool little thing. And... Huh, protea. Um, this flower was grown on the sunny volcanic slopes of Maui or um, the big island of Hawaii. So that is a flower. Well, that is cool. And so that's one, two, three. So that's five coconut. This is, I think this one is a lava egg. Let's see. Oh, it's got a big piece of paper inside. Let's see. So, yep, yeah, this is a lava egg. So this is made by a, um, a sculptor named Dan Skinner from 100% Maui clay. Um, so, very cool. I will keep that information with that in there. It has a really pretty um, kind of opalescence to it. There's like some purples um, and a real nice shimmer to that. It's really pretty. 
I'm going to put that in a bowl so it doesn't roll away. Okay. And then we've got some more here. This is, oh, this is a bookmark. And I think this is describing that bookmark. And then I've got this really neat basket. And one more item. And oh, this is another bookmark. So really pretty wood on that. Okay. Now this, oh yeah, I remember this. So here is a magazine cover. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Now there is a little bit of water damage and it does look like somebody's, um, like a label or something down there. But that is really fun. Let's see, put that there. And then we've got this little art print. And that does appear to be like a paper craft, a cutout paper. And then this also cut out paper. Um, this is a 1930 something, I'll take a closer look, um, Cosmopolitan magazine. Now, I'm going to put some, straighten that out and put some weighted um, books on top to try to smooth that out. This is from May 1930. And oh my, look at that fancy bathroom. Woo. Very nice. So that is a really cool magazine. And oh yes, this is a stirring stick that goes to something. I think it might be the something that is in a box. And I think that is all from there. Okay, so let's get into the box here. And I've got that box. And this box. Well, maybe I'll go through this one first because I'm running out of room there. So here is a vintage bottle of Cody. And this is some kind of a, I think these are bath salts or sachet. Interesting. Now in another lot, I did find um, another bottle that was identical, a, a different estate sale but the same bottle, different product. So a really good addition for a vintage vanity. Um, here is a lace. Okay, where can I put this? There we go. A lace handkerchief. That is pretty. I've got another little hanky. That one is really pretty with the flowers. That's an all over design. Oh, look at this one. Oh, that's a beauty. Beautiful for spring and summer. Here is a, oh, these are two. Okay, so here is this one. Beautiful all over pattern. And 
And this one, oh my, look at how beautiful that is. Those yellow flowers. Some fancy gloves, size large. Let's see how, oh, these are still sealed. Okay, we won't be trying those on. They are still sealed in the package. We've got a magnifier. I love these. Um, and this is gorgeous. Look at that. I love having this handy. Put it around your neck and then you can zoom in on anything, including what this label says. Let's see what that says. Linda Dano is what that says. But yeah, that is a pretty one. And we have, oh, another nice all over pattern handkerchief in an aqua blue. That is beautiful. And one more here with, I think, yep, just a little corner. And then the last item there is, let's see what this is. Oh, some kind of a very pretty and formal um, nightgown, I'm thinking because it is very long, really pretty. It's, I know my lighting is washing this out. It is a very baby blue with these beautiful lace ruffles. And then this is very long to the bottom there. Again, with the lace, that is lovely. Oh. And then, holy cow, we've got a vase. I don't remember that. I don't remember everything um, from the pictures that they show on the estate sales. Now, this is just made in China. So it's just a very nice, but I'm going to say kind of an average vase. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess I still haven't found. Or maybe it goes to. Hmm. I did have a picture in a couple of um, hauls ago that that stir might have gone with. That's what I think. Um, but here. We've got some fun, there we go, <laughs> some fun goodies. So we've got this, um, could be Russian, could be Ukrainian. It's not marked, but um, I love this kind of, um, that lacquer. And it looks like we've got a matching plate on that. And this one is marked. Let me see what that says does that say russia that says handmade in i do believe that it's double printed on there i just wanted to make sure i was reading that so yes that does say russia we've got looks like a coconut purse with a zipper <laughs> look at that that is awesome. Made in Indonesia and it is lined. And then we've got some boxes in here. So let's see, we've got this beautiful, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Does that go together? Yep. Yeah that goes together. Look at that cute one. And 
And ooh, this is fancy. Look at that beautiful work. And that has, I think that's made in India. Yep. And let's open that up. Oh, this has a, well, this has a whole little history on that one. Beautiful on the inside. Let's see. You can take the lid off, but it only goes back on a certain way. <laughs> and okay, and that's all of that. So here is the inside of that little purse. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love that. And it's got the little handle on it. That is really neat. I've had some of these pieces of fabric. Um, I've got another one. I don't quite know what they were from. And I've got a couple of miscellaneous candles. We've got the spoon that goes with the Russia set. We've got a fan. Let's see. That is pretty. This says it's made in the People's Republic of China. So I guess that was before Taiwan started calling itself Taiwan. Very nice fan. And there is another fan in here. In a nice box. And let's see, that is a little part and then we've got a little string. So let's see. Oh, look at that one. Now this is wood. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. And then I'll put that back in the box here. Go that way might go that way pass a little back in there and I don't know quite what those other parts are but then here is the little box that it came in and comes with a dust bunny and then we've got this little nesting I'm gonna say cat so let's see what is inside oh we've got See, let's we've got I think that's a mouse with a ball let's see there is the ball and then we've got oh one ear missing on that little guy and then we've got a teeny tiny little mouse on the inside and he's got like a little bit of cheese. So there's the bottom layer, which is that cute, oops, little mouse. We've got this guy who is unfortunately missing an ear. We've got this guy with his little ball. And then here is the outside one. Still really cute, even with the missing ear. Okay, so that takes care of that box. Now, let's take a look at this box. I've got a little plastic display. And, oh, I do remember these. So these are all glass figurines. So let's see if I can, maybe I will use this to try to display them so you can see them. So here is a little cat made out of glass. And let's see what this is. Okay, so we have a little car 
And on the inside of the car, it looks like a cat and a mouse. He's got his arm hanging out. Here is the back. Okay, one more piece in this little bubble wrap. So here we have a palm tree and I think a cat having a drink out of a coconut. <laughs> it's just too funny. There is something in the bubble here. Oh my goodness. We have got a teeny, teeny, tiny little turtle. Look at that little green turtle. Now I think he might be, yep, he's missing two legs. So he has two legs and he's missing two legs. Um, here is, oh, gosh. So here we have a glass bed with two cats laying inside the bed. Oh, my. And here we have a teddy bear. Now, he looks like he's missing a foot right there. So cute. Oh my. Oh, this is a good one. So we have a cat watching the fish in the fishbowl. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, what is this? So we have a cat, and I think it's like um, sitting at a little vanity with the mirror, and this looks like a little perfume bottle. One more here. Oh, a little bumblebee. A little bumblebee with a bunch of honey. And he's got a stinger. Well, I don't see any extra parts, so I think that those um, those couple missing pieces are missing. So here is a little cat looking out a window with the little birdie right there. Aren't those just fantastic? Oh, those are so good. We'll have to wrap those up. Very special. And keep them nice and safe. Um, okay. Yes, there is more. I have to get this stuff unboxed <laughs> in order to be able to have more stuff at the sale. So thanks for bearing with me. Um, I did have the cup. Where did I put that? Oh, it is over there. Um, I did have the cup in another unboxing that matches this. I love that pattern. So that'll be a great set. And then this one, I don't think I have seen a saucer for it. Um, this is made in England. And this one was made in England also. Does look like it has a little chip 
on it. So that is unfortunate. That's a really cool pattern. This is beautiful with those roses. There's something else in here. Yep. And oh, look how pretty this is. So this is Clarence. And I think I had the cream and sugar that did sell in a sale that went with that. Okay, and then we've got a box that I was using. Let's see if this is, come on Liv, there we go. So this is interesting. There is a box taped in a box and I'm going to say it feels like there is something on the inside of here. So hold on just one minute and I'm going to see if I can get that out and if there is anything there. It is just taped in. Oh, there's just the bottom and some confetti there. So that's all that is. Okay. Um, so I've got a roll here. And, oh, it looks like we have some silver pieces. So we've got a spoon. And I've got two magnifiers and I can't find either one. This is marked, well, that is marked something on the back. Let's take a look at the next one here. So here is another spoon and this one is marked bigger. Um, oh, that says Norway. So this all must be like Nor from Norway, Norway silver. We've got the fork. So those are all in, well, I guess two of those, the spoon and the fork are in a same pattern. Here is a different pattern. This says, that says something different. Oh, this says Sweden on it. And then we have this really fancy spoon that says um, Toll, T-O-W-L-E, Sterling. Boy, always check the linens, huh? <laughs> Here's another Norway. I can see the mark that it has the same Norway. And then here is a, oops, get in there. Here is a fancy one, and that also says Norway, or it has the mark, I think, that says Norway. Yeah, it says Norway. So, there you go. You never know what you're going to find <laughs> in, with some of the linens, huh? <laughs> Very interesting. Well, let's see. Oh, we've got this. Boy, that would be great for your dessert. And this is just a uh, pillowcase cover. This looks like a king size pillowcase cover or pillow cover then put the case on. Oh, and I've got another yellow. So that is, I think, Mary Jo. Um, I will have another napkin heading to you. And then 
whoever got the um, other one, I will have another one of those going to you. And oh, here we have a beautiful set. Look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. And oh, here is another one. So I'll just be including those in your next shipment out. Or if it hasn't shipped out yet, then I will be including that in. And I've got this really cool bottle. Look at that. Wow. Here is the mark on the bottom. So I'm thinking that could be, what is that Anchor Hawking? I think possibly. But that is a really neat model. And then, oh, we've got a second one of those. So that is a great little dessert set. Oh my, okay, here are some serious salt and pepper shakers. These are, there's a whole bunch of marking on the bottom here. Aster by Pool, P-O-O-L-E, Shaker Yorktown, and then it says set peck. And then there is a mark. So I will show that. So you can see. And then, yeah, this is some kind of a metal. Really fancy. And then this one, I'm going to guess, maybe had the salt in it. And why we've got a little bit of um, those marks on there. I will see. Let's see. No, nope, just from scraping, they're not coming off. So they might just need um, maybe a little polishing away or just keep them plain because it adds to the character of it. a fancy plate or server tray. I'm seeing on the back, I'm, oh, here is a mark. Let's see what that says. That says Oneida Silversmiths. So that is an Oneida piece. And it says it right back there. Um, okay, that is that. Now, I am still not quite done, um, again, because I need more, <laughs> I need more stuff to add to the sale. So sorry, this unboxing is going on a little longer, but I have got um, some pillowcases. I did miss a day of unboxing. Um, so I'm kind of making up for it. Here is a vintage pillowcase, beautiful pattern. I'm going to put those in the box there. Here is another vintage pillowcase. Look at that great pattern. And another one. Now, those are all just singles. Um, here is a, this looks like a king size set with some nice lace trim on the bottom. Here is the other one. Yep. Making sure it's as long as the other one was. Um, here is, this is a pretty, it's a white set, but it's got some nice lace on the bottom. And here is the matching one. And just when I thought I was all done with pillowcases, guess what? I found some more. So here is, this is a 
single. I only found one of these. Look at those pansies. Oh, gorgeous. And then here is a purple one. And then this is, oh, this is a set. There are two of them here. This has a nice crochet. And then here is the other one. So there are a pair of those. So wasn't that a fun find? And I've got some more lace. I've got it in this little pouch here. I'm going to get it open. Now this is some more, I believe, um, doilies. So let's take a look at these real quick. I will just hold them up. And I'll be putting these together in little groupings. Because I think some of these are sets or close to being sets. So many, so many. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, look at that one with the flowers. Oh my goodness. And that. Now these are getting a little bigger. And oh, this is like a table runner or a buffet. This one too, oh, so pretty. Oh, here we have what looks like a tablecloth. And, oh, <laughs> I thought there's a vase inside of here. Well, this is um, a doily that is connected to and wrapped around this vase. Well, that's different. Here is, love that pattern. And another. Oh, look at this one. Oh my goodness with those roses. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Oh, there's another one. Ooh. And we've got, oh, this little cross stitch one. Just a couple more. This one is, oh, this is like a Buffet or table runner, dresser scarf. And then this little, like a card table size. Okay. Whew, that was a lot of doilies, I know. So thanks for sticking with me if you made it to the end of the video. I know this was a big unboxing, but really needed to um, clear some space out to bring in some more stuff that I have in a different room that I need to bring in here, kind of my little working area, and incorporate all of these goodies into the next upcoming sales. So uh, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, definitely um, like, 
comment, share, subscribe, um, all that good stuff. And uh, look for these items to be available in upcoming live sales, which again are Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, so I will see you next time. And again, thanks for watching.